guys, welcome to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. My name is Nancy Isina and I'm your host as always. I hope everybody's having a great day, fantastic, amazing day so far. If you're not yet, well, I'm, I hope to bring some fun into your lives right now in about 30 minutes. But before I do so, please allow me to go on a short break. And when I come back, I'll be introducing who my guest is for today. Be right back. <music> Hey guys, welcome back to Trending. Today I'll be discussing the topic, is the rap culture dead? Or is it slowly fading out? And today on my hot seat discussing this with me is Mr. Nato Chuku, probably known as Nato C. Thank you very Hi, much. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Great, great, great. Good to have you today. Happy to be here. Very show. chilled, very laid back. I'm always chilled and laid back. Laid back. I mean, well, there's a segment of the show which is called the Style Update segment. So okay. I get to ask you a couple questions about what you're wearing and the inspiration behind it. So tell okay. me, what are you wearing and what inspired you to wear this? Um, well... I'm very simple. I'm wearing a Ralph Lauren polo top. Okay. I'm wearing blue jeans, sneakers, you know. Um, yeah, I, th I just think that less is more. Okay. You know, from a fashion point of view. Right. Um, and yeah, I like to be comfortable. I like to dress to be comfortable. Nice, nice. You look you know. pretty comfortable and classy as well. Yeah, well, try, <laughs> try, try, try. All right, let's talk about rap. Yeah. Now, tell me, do you think that the rap culture is slowly dying? Well, no, I don't think it's dying. I okay. think it's uh, evolving. Mm -hmm. Um, and that is what it is supposed to do, you know. Okay. I mean, anything that doesn't evolve will actually die, sure. you know. Um, sure. And I think that, you know, we've seen a shift from, you know, uh, uh, from the rap culture being, the rap culture in Nigeria being dominated by conventional rappers mm -hmm. to a shift uh, where conventional rappers are singing a lot more now. Right. Um, and the music has sped up a little bit but it's all designed to fit what people want within right. a period within a certain period of time you okay. know so like now you know pop music is generally dominating so uh, traditional rap artists have to kind of you know um fit their music right you right. know to serve you know what the listeners the want to hear yeah what the market but, but tell wants, me yeah. do you think there's anything wrong with infusing other genres of music into rap I mean, I, I, back in the day, did yeah. it used to be so? Did they rap as yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes? I mean, um, rap has always been um, a melting pot of different genres, you mm. know, uh, mm. from the original inception of rap music. Mm. Rap music is a product of hip hop culture in general, right. you know. Um, yeah, so rap always took from uh, uh, rock and roll, mm -hmm. uh, took from jazz, mm -hmm. took from. Uh, soul music, mm -hmm. R&B and all that kind of stuff. And we're seeing it today now right. where, you know, Nigeria, in Nigeria, the rap culture is taking from, mm. you know, um, local music, mm. you know, uh, like uh, traditional music, high life, right. even F Fuji music as mm. well. You know, so that's what rap is. Rap is, rap as an art form right. is, is a celebration of musical diversity, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what makes it unique and that's what gives people a new and fresh platform to express their 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 art right right yeah. now let's talk about back in the day when you started how long yeah. have you been in rap game um well professionally uh about like 10 11 years 10 11 years yes, now, comparing yes. that time to now yeah. would you say that uh, the rap culture especially in nigeria has lost its um, lyrical content oh definitely um all over the world right. globally um rap has lost has lost is uh, lyrical content. You mm -hmm. see the same thing in, in even in the United States where they have uh, what they call mumbo rap. Mumbo rap, what's that? Yeah, uh, tell me the, tell me the, tell me the, hey, tell me the, hey, tell me the, tell me the. I watched the video yeah, where Snoop Dogg, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, <laughs> that's mumbo rap. So you're not really hearing what they're saying. Right, but you're just flowing with you're the... You're just, just with the flow, you know, wow. just about the flow and the beats. Does it take a special kind of talent to do that? No, actually, no. It doesn't actually take a special kind of talent to even sing now because right. of technology. You mm. know? So you just mm. go into the studio and uh, and they put all kinds <laughs> of plugins rubbing, yeah. on your voice. And you're like, wow, wow, this is a hit, this is a hit. This and then you have to perform live and then everybody's yeah, like, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> so now it's like Mary had a little lamb, right. you know, kind of rap, you know. <laughs> right. what, this, what, did you hear the way he said it, like, mm. on the beat, you know? And yeah, that's it's a catchy. Where, yeah, right. that's where... That's where music is now. Okay, okay, okay. So what, what steps do you think I'm taking to revive the rap culture? Well, to be honest, I think uh, being original right. is, is, is a responsibility of, you know, um, the artists who, uh, who set the trends to 
continue to be original mm. as opposed to looking for a quick fix and you know trying to copy what is supposed to be hot because okay. the thing is is that a lot of people a lot of artists you know get wary and you know scared to experiment you mm -hmm. know because they're like well if i experiment maybe the audience isn't going to take to my music as okay. well mm -hmm. and then you know our, our, our business is is in a lot of ways it could be mouth to hand so mm. you don't want to interfere with that time right. where you need to get like a show quickly mm -hmm. so you can keep up with appearances or mm. what have you so mm. it's very difficult for people to make the sacrifice okay. to um to actually be original mm -hmm. so the more original we are you know the more hope you know, the yeah, younger yeah. people mm. coming up have mm. that, okay, I can be original. Like, you look at Kendrick Lamar, he's so original. Yeah. And he gives J. a lot. J. Cole as well. I exactly. Think. They give a lot of up-and-coming artists mm. the hope that, you know, I can be original and, still, and do things my way right. and still thrive. But in Nigeria, how do you strike the balance between wanting to be original yeah. and, like, save the rap culture and also make money? Well, to be honest, I don't think it's, anybody, it's in anybody's place to save the rap mm. culture. Mm. I think it's... Um, it's more about putting your best foot forward right. as an individual artist mm, mm. and you're going to have to be able to make some sacrifices. Okay, okay. So, and sometimes that sacrifice might be, well, I may not gain commercial mm. success so quickly, but mm. it will come. Mm. As long as you can create value, mm -hmm. you always make money. Make money, right? Yeah, well, talking about, as, yeah. yeah, but talking about you, for example, yeah. you stuck to your own style. No matter what's coming yeah. up and what's happening, you're just like, you know what, well, yeah. this is the nature C floor and that's what you're going to yeah. vibe to. How do, you, um, how do you stay consistent and how do you not get under that pressure of wanting to vibe with everybody like do what everybody else is doing and probably make as much because I, i'm sure you've seen sometimes most times most of the people most of the people who are headlining shows in nigeria yeah. people who are doing what yeah. you just spoke about yeah. yeah so how do you not fall under that pressure and how do you stay consistent i mean the truth of the matter is that life is always about pressure and right. about balancing and dealing with pressure mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i mean you know behind the scenes when we're creating music we try all kinds of things mm -hmm. you know and then after maybe a couple tries over and over again you're like man maybe i should you know stick to my original formula sometimes mm -hmm. we try and do stuff that is more commercial right. and then it doesn't work mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so everybody you know puts out at a point in time in their career put out a record whereby they thought this was going to work and mm -hmm. it doesn't even work mm -hmm. whether they try to make it as an original record or whether they try to be commercial mm -hmm. you know but i think the most important thing about it just as an artist you have to believe in yourself first right. and know who you're core audience is mm. Mm. and it might take some time right. for you to build that level of consistency mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i believe that once you can um once you can get your formula correct that you know your fans will always support your music right. and when you have enough fans mm -hmm. you should be fine fine right now yeah. you it can be said that you are a family man you yeah. love you know you love being uh with your wife and your kids yeah, and of course yeah. putting it out there definitely. would you say in any way that being a family man has made you step back a little bit from you know the music game um in a way yes because Why? it's made me step back from the person I used to be before, right? You know, because obviously sense? I have more. I, I, I put. I'm, I'm. I have more responsibilities, right? And I have to prioritize things differently, right? You right. Know, when you're a single bachelor in the music industry, mm. you know you have different priorities, right? You right. understand. Mm -hmm. So I have to get my priorities straight, mm. and that means um, my general overall perspective has changed in the mm. sense of you know I would rather make music that has that's more genuine. Right. You understand? I would rather... Does it also affect the lyrics because of your children, what they might well, want to Well, to be honest, to? you know, I've never had uh, provocative lyrics, you know, right. um, from the inception of my career. So mm. that's never really been my issue. Okay. okay. But my issue now is about, you know, just having a greater sense of purpose. Okay. You know, and, you know, trying to make music that will... I mean, sometimes you have to, sh you have, you have to water it down a little bit, mm. but you want to make some, you want to make stuff that is of, of substance you okay. know so for me it takes it had to take some time to for self-evaluation and you mm -hmm. know get a bearing of type of artist i want to be and type right. of direction i want to go right you know so in that sense yes i had to slow down to slow down bit. do you yeah. see yourself doing music for a long time well to be honest um you know when you're dealing with talent it's very difficult to 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 to, to put it an expiry date on it True you know? that. so you just pretty much have to go with the flow. Mm -hmm. um, music has always been something that you know I've I've been in love with my first okay. love anyway. Okay. So you know I think for me it's just important to go with the flow and just right. continue to work 
how to um, put out the best music possible. Okay, so yeah. tell me, what are you working on? What's going on 2018? Well, uh, 2018 is the 10th uh, year since I released um, my first big single, Kenny Big Deal. Oh, so wow. It's, um, it's, it's, it's an important, yeah. special year for me. So mm -hmm. I want to do something exciting for you know my fans. Okay. So we just released a, a record called Kill Me Softly with uh, Sakodi. Wow. Yeah, so we have a bunch of records we want to release okay. this year okay. and videos. I just try to create a special experience. Right, working on an album as well? Yeah, body of work, probably an EP, an album. Okay. You know, depending on when we're able to get the body of work ready. Okay. And yeah. So would it be like a 10 year in the game or 10 years in, you know, uh, since the big single? Yeah. What, what well, do you think the. the to be honest, the I, album I don't really. I just go with the flow, you okay. know, I go with. Um, I, I'm. I'm organic when it comes to creating things and okay. being creative, you know. So, um, so yeah, you know, I don't, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't really know. I haven't gotten to that stage yet. Okay. I think I'm at the stage of just trying to be creative. Okay, okay. And, and put uh, out the work. Yeah, put out okay, the work. Okay, yeah. amazing. We look forward to all this amazing stuff for 2018. But in the meantime, please enjoy the video of the day. We'll be right back. Buy your jad guard. Buy your jad guard. Uh, okay, sir. Buy your jad guard. I'm not buying. Buy your jad guard. Uh, what Buy is the problem now? Buy your jad guard. You come the first time I say I'm not buying. You come the second time I say I'm not buying. You're disappearing no, everywhere. You're disappearing. You're here now. Yes, I want to buy. I say I don't want to buy. What is your no, problem? Now, host two, sir. What do you mean, host two? What do you mean, host two? Now, you do host two. Buy your jad guard. Buy your jad guard. Buy your jet card, sir. What is your problem? I said I'm not buying with jet card. Sorry, sir. Oh, but we Sorry, sorry, sir. Leave okay. that roof. Ah! 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 Me need me la. Of your jet card, you really be kill it. Buy your original jet card, sir. Ah! Hey guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. Um, I still have Nato C on my hot seat and we're about to play some games. First off, it's a fast fire question segment where I get to ask you a couple questions under 60 seconds. Okay. And you answer really fast, fast, fast. You can't think about it. Okay, <laughs> yeah? Right, yeah? You ready? Yeah. All right, time starts now. Okay. What is your favorite sport? Football. Most cherished item? Uh, Kai. <laughs> I'm not materialistic, so, so you can't say. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Afro or bold? <clears throat> Afro or bold? Yeah. Afro. Afro. Okay. Favorite 2018 track? Favorite 2018 track. Um, that's the next track I put out. Okay. <laughs> Favorite actress? Favorite actress, Nigerian. Uh, Anywhere. Um, I like Angelina Jolie. Okay. Uh, Favorite African soup? Oweri soup. Oweri soup. Favorite holiday? Um, Miami. Real name? Nito Chuku. Twitter or Instagram? Hmm, Instagram. What is your dream collaboration? Shade Adu. <laughs> For real? Well, that was good under 60 seconds, but really, Shade? Yeah, I love Shade. Wow, wow, I, I can't wait for that. So Imagine yeah. if it happens, it would just be totally epic. That's if I don't faint in this <laughs> <laughs> You're probably be like, you know what, no more music for me, this uh, is it. I'm done. Uh, okay, so let us go to the next deal, which is the tribe. What happens? I get to ask you a couple uh, okay. social media abbreviations, and you just give me the full meanings. Okay. Ready? All right, first okay. one off is HMU. I don't know. Do you want to try? It's like, it's like, do you want a clue? Like, HM. when you see your, your guy or your friend, you're just like, yo, yeah. HMU. HMU. Yeah. I have zero idea. <laughs> do you I'm want me to help you? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> well, it means. Okay, give me the first word. I can't even, I can only give okay. you a clue. I can right, only give me a clue. Like, give me a clue. It's like you see your guy and you're like, yo, okay? Uh, yo. Yo. Okay. Yo. Oh, you can be like, HMU, like. HMU. I have no idea. Still no idea. I'm so slow. Do so you want me to help you? <laughs> yes, please. It means hit me up. Hit me up. Yeah, I was like, see. I was never going to get it. You ready? <laughs> I was never going to get it. Okay, next one SMH. Shake my head. Yes. FYI. For your information. Yes. NVM. Never mind. Good. <laughs> Last one HNM. 
H N L. N M. H N L. Yes. <laughs> the last one was H M E. Hit me up. H N M. It's something you say every month. On social media. Happy new month. Yes, you see, uh, my clothes are amazing. Uh, by the way, I gave you nice, one already. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, well, you did very well. Thank I mean, you, you only filled you, one, so that's really good. We're going to go on a short break now. When we come back, Nato will be reading some nasty comments. So don't go anywhere. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. I still have Nato C on my hot seat, and he's about to read some nasty comments. So I'm going to give this to you. Please read and react to each of them. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, number one from Ekene. Need to see what rapper LOL I've heard was. Um, number two, Frank. Since he got married, he disappeared. Why? Marriage made him lose music. Um, I don't even know if this is correct English, but <laughs> we'll move to the next one. <laughs> Dennis, he rode under the influence of his mom. Oh. Well, maybe Dennis thought that my mom was into music, so she was able to influence my career. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, these are not really that nasty, Sha. Okay. Is this it nastier? A, yeah, I've is seen it? nastier. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 10 years, yeah, I've seen nastier, definitely. How did this make you? I mean, 10 years ago, was it was social media as big as it was? Not then? really, no. I mean, because when I started, we had MySpace. Okay. You know, and uh, the, the internet space was much nicer. Right. And then uh, inst uh, it was more expensive. Twitter, Twitter gave people an outlet yeah. to uh, to unload their frustration. Right, right. So and then Instagram added yeah. more. And then Instagram, Instagram, yeah, Instagram makes, I think Instagram makes a lot of people insecure. Right. Because it's just, uh, people are just capturing the best moments of their lives. Yeah, So that's when true. you're having a rough day and you go and see everybody else living the life, mm. you know, it just makes you feel like, so what I'm, why, why did they even give birth to you? <laughs> You know, and then so, you take yeah. out the frustration on other people. Yeah, and then you go to the comments and you're right. like, but why, but why is he doing his math like that? <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, I mean, yeah, it's, I feel like it's, you know, I, I feel like whenever you don't have anything mm -hmm. positive to say mm -hmm. about someone, it's, it says a lot about yourself. So right. I've learned to, you know, feel sorry for people who are very negative. Right, right. You know, um, but yeah. Okay. Can't save everybody. I tell you, that's amazing. <laughs> thank you very much for thank sharing. Thank you so much for and Thank you so much for coming on the thank show. Did you have fun? I had an amazing time. Amazing, thank you. All thank right, you guys, enjoy the top five. I will be right back. Welcome to top five. Today, we look at the five most popular conventional private universities in Nigeria. At number five, we have Joseph Ayobabalola University. At number four, we have Redeemers University. And at number three, we have Bowen University. Coming in at number two, we have Babcock University. And standing at the very first place, Covenant University. <music> All right, guys, it's that time for me to close the curtains and call it a day. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for sticking with me. I hope you loved today's show. I had Nato see on my hot seat and we had a lot to talk about, especially about the rap culture. I hope you young rappers out there, you know one or two things now. <laughs> I guess you do. Join the conversation, follow us on Twitter at HeapTV and on Instagram at official TV. You can also follow me on Instagram at Nancy Isime Official. But that's if you wish. Until I see you next time, do not forget that I love you. But God loves you more. Goodbye.